Now, the story we are about to tell you is something that caught all of us out of the blue. And the blue, I'm saying with my tongue firmly in my cheek. We knew that there was going to be a satellite launch of the South Asia satellite at about 5 o'clock today. We were preparing for it because it was a big diplomatic coup to begin with. The very fact that six nations in South Asia, barring Pakistan, had lined up with India's vision to put together this initiative. But what happened after the successful launch was perhaps one of the biggest diplomatic coups in recent times because the heads of government of all those six nations were watching the takeoff live. And the one person left out, the man sulking on your screens there, Nawaz Sharif, nowhere left to hide. Pakistan left diplomatically spaced out. Here's what happened. With this launch, we have started our journey to build the most advanced frontier of our partnership. With its position high in the sky, the symbol of South Asian cooperation would meet the aspirations of economic progress of more than one and a half billion people in our region and extend our close links into outer space. Excellencies, I am immensely grateful to my fellow leaders from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Maldives and Sri Lanka for joining me today to celebrate this launch. We want to cooperate with all countries for creating an area of peace in South Asia where we can live as good neighbors and pursue constructive policies for the benefit of our peoples. This important initiatives by India will assist in many priority areas in the region, including mapping natural resources, education, environment, conservation, forecasting, climate changes, weather patterns and various other subjects. As government, it is our duty to provide the people the means towards a happy and prosperous life. We extend hearty congratulations to Prime Minister Modi ji as well as to the government of India on this success and express our most sincere thanks for your thoughtfulness to help South Asian neighbors benefit from the progress India has achieved in the field of science and technology. Today marks the day where South Asia moves from speaking about the desirability of regional integration to making it a reality. The gap between talk and action is bridged today. The imperative of regional cooperation is changed to the reality. This generous gift from India is an example of true friendship and cooperation, and it is bound to bring about the common progress and development of our region. I thank you, Honorable Prime Minister of India, the government, and the people of India for this very precious gift. I wish to extend sincere gratitude to you, Excellency Prime Minister Modi, and the people of India for this very special gift to our region. The launching of this satellite signifies India's neighborhood first policy, and the vision and commitment of Prime Minister Modi towards the development and prosperity of the South Asia region. You know, any country pursuing rational and responsible national policies would have joined this effort. If they haven't joined, it is purely out of jealousy for India, without realizing that they are harming themselves. They are further isolating themselves from the regional countries, from that SARC formation, as I said earlier, this was a good occasion for them to make up some lost ground after getting a rebuff last year from the SAR countries. 